Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. In this session, we are going to discuss about the log viewer, how you can view your logs in Tosca Commander, and how you can monitor them uh, during the execution of your test cases. Now, many a times uh, you will face uh, different issues in Tosca. And apart from uh, the error information, which is provided uh, either in the scratch book or in the execution logs, there is also a log viewer, uh, which uh, provides you with complete or detailed logs of uh, what is happening uh, with respect to your execution. And uh, if there are any errors or any issues, you can easily uh, debug them using this log viewer. So let's look at uh, how we can start this log viewer and uh, what are the different options and uh, how you can monitor your logs using this log viewer application. So this particular uh, log viewer application uh, is present in the commander home directory and also in the tbox home directory. So we can start this by directly going into that particular directory and launching the exe. We can also launch it uh, using the command line tool. So uh, if now I go here, I am already in my Tosca Commander uh, home directory. So this is the Tosca Commander home directory. And uh, here you will see uh, there is the log viewer, okay? So it's an EXE application. Um, so I can directly double click on it and it will start the log viewer application right here. Uh, it is also present in the TBOX home directory as I said earlier. So you can start it from there as well. Now coming to uh, the different options which are present in this particular log viewer application. So the first option is um, what kind of log level values uh, will be displayed. Okay, so you can choose between all these different logs. Um, so currently you can see it is off, which means it is not displaying uh, any logs, uh, but you can also choose uh, to show only the errors or the warnings or just the information level logs, or you can choose to display all the logs. So that's also possible. The next option is display mode. Um, so here um, there are two options. One is the console mode and one is the file mode. So in the file mode, uh, it will only show where the logs are being captured. And you can see uh, this is the log file which has been generated here, okay? Uh, by default, it will be stored in this particular folders. And then this is the console mode where you can view your logs in the console itself. Um, next is the files. Okay, so again, it is showing you the different files which have been created. So this is the log file and uh, this is also the diagnostic logger.txt. So I can directly go into these uh, different logs files. Okay, so these are the log files which have been generated. Then uh, coming to the next option is the clear option. Uh, so if I click on clear, it will clear the logs on the console. Um, I can save the logs separately. Okay, if I want to save the log events to a different file, I can do that. Okay, so it will store it in that file. Then there is also a Chrome uh, trace option. So we can use this Chrome trace option to basically store it into a JSON file. And then we can use this file with the Google Chrome's uh, tracing event profiling tool. So, so that we can uh, even debug much better with uh, respect to the Chrome's uh, profiling tool. Okay, um, then uh, this two options is for navigating between different errors. So if you have got multiple errors, you can go to the next error or you can come back to the previous error. You can also do a search using this find option. So if you want to search uh, in your logs uh, with respect to something, then you can easily use this. Uh, you can also use the regex and previous and next option to go through your search results. So these are um, all the different options uh, which you can see here, right? Now, if I go ahead and uh, start my Tosca commander, okay? So here, um, if I'm going into one of my box spaces and uh, we will also keep the log viewer uh, handy here. So as you can see, uh, currently I have selected all logs, right? So it is logging everything, 
into this particular console. So as soon as I uh, started my Tosca commander, you can see a lot of different log events which have triggered in this particular log viewer. Okay. Now, if I go ahead and execute some test case like this login test case, so I'll go ahead and run this in Scratchbook, and you will see a lot of log events which will be now triggering in this uh, console, right? So there is the debug log level, there is the info log level, um, and then it is going to log uh, everything what your execution uh, is doing uh, with respect to Tosca Commander, the different components, and a lot of other things, okay? Some of the things uh, may not be understood by us, but uh, you don't need to understand everything which is being logged into this login log viewer. It will be mostly used for debugging purpose, right? So if there is some unusual behavior with Tosca Commander, um, or there is some error which you are not able to get through, or uh, you don't find any solution, then maybe you can debug something uh, from this log viewer. Uh, which will show you some technical issue, maybe uh, like this, sending transaction to the server failed, right? But it was not related to my test case. So um, I can even change this uh, log level to only error so that I just see the errors uh, in my log viewer instead of everything. So depends on how you want to set the log level. But it's a very useful tool. If um, you are facing uh, any issues which you are not able to resolve using the uh, usual logs which are displayed in your execution or in your scratchbook. But apart from that, there are lots of configuration issues which you might face while configuring different components of Tosca. So there could be lots of issues which could be resolved by just looking at the log viewer and Maybe you can also provide this to your technical team or um, the Tosca support team so that they can help you further. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.